Lawyer for Johnny Depp kicked off case after press leaks. This comes from courthousenews.com. On more than one occasion, the judge presiding over the lawsuit between the divorce actors, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, has made it clear that he doesn't want their Virginia defamation case tried in the press. Coming off the latest disappointment on that front, Judge Bruce White threw Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, off the case on Friday. That's right. Adam Waldman is off the case. The reason? The finding that the lawyer had given the press confidential information covered under a protective order. Judge White, back in September 2019, signed a protective order governing the treatment of Depp and Hurd's personal information, passport numbers, phone numbers, and the like, as well as medical records including psychological conditions, diagnosis, or treatment. Hurd had moved for sanction against, against him last month, contending that the press leaks happened on at least two occasions. She said Woman was responsible for decimating audio recordings, surveillance pictures, and declarations from a third-party witnesses to websites and Twitter users, leading readers and potential jurors to believe that these declarations are somehow official case documents, which they are not. In court on Friday, Hurd's lawyers accused Waldman of spreading false rumors about the client. White, who is the chief judge, agreed Friday to revoke Waltman's status. Despite finding that ethical standards were violated, the judge declined to issue a gag order against Waltman. Waltman did not return a request for comment. Now, Benjamin Chu, who I believe is taking over this, Chu contended that the text messages in question were already public domain, and he accused Hurd's lawyers of making their own breaches of the protective order. Now, in case you don't know what a gag order is, it's a judge's order that a case may not be discussed in public. So this is not another good thing for Johnny Depp now. It's funny, first Johnny Depp had the advantage and now it seems like the tide has shifted and has gone back to Amber Heard's team. Here's the thing though, both sides leaked stuff. It, it's that simple, okay? The, the case shouldn't have got out there. Well, it did. And here's why it did. First off, it started when Amber Heard. Let's not forget the TMZ edited, not unedited, that I showed. No, no, no. The edited version that was out there, okay? That she released to DMZ that she did, okay? She started blaming the guy and putting him under a bus and trying to put evidence out there. So you fight fire with fire. If you're going to put it in the public side, then you know what? All's fair in love and war. Love and war. And that's exactly what this is. It was love, for Johnny Depp at least, and now it's a war. It's a war. Does this hurt Johnny? Well, basically, it's like saying, the judge saying, well, you know, you guys shouldn't have put stuff out there. And I would have, and like Chu said, yeah, well, they did too. So, I mean, it's already public. What is the issue here? And I think he's right. A lot of this was public, you know, text messages were public. All this stuff was out there. And now you're going to say you put it out there. It was your fault. But was it? Was it all just Waldman's fault? Let's think about it. How much information is out there? How much have us channels gone over? How much have we discovered from what's been filed to recordings to videos? It's all out there. It's all out there. It's real simple. If you're going to put something in the public's eye, then I'm going to fight back and put something in the public's eye. Amber Heard's team is the one that started this whole damn ball rolling. Trying to make it... She cost... Does anybody get the fact that she cost Johnny almost his career without a ruling by claiming what she did? which is an absolute huge lie, and that should be very punishable. And what has happened? What has happened? She brought two dogs, and we've gone over this in the last video, into a country illegally. Illegally. Okay? Where's the punishment now? Well, we're investigating. Well, 
she should be punished for that. That's what. That's why this is really has pissed me off. In a relationship, no matter who is wrong, both sides are wrong. It takes two people to make it work. Both sides have to make the effort. And in this war, it's both sides. Both teams are throwing it all out in the fire. So to say, well, we got to let you go because you're the one who's been leaking stuff. And what about Hurt's team? What about the tapes and the recordings that are out there against Johnny Depp? And I've done two videos so far. I have more coming. How about him on the airplane? How'd that get out there? How did TMZ set up video, which was edited, not the unedited, the edited part, which TMZ at this point hasn't played the unedited part as far as I know, and they haven't apologized for putting the word out there. So you got television making Johnny look bad, and then after, it's not enough that television is making him look bad, but then you got Amber Heard and her team throwing this all out there, and he's supposed to sit back and say, yeah, go ahead. You just got me fired. I cost millions of dollars to a franchise that I put on the map. I'm not saying he put Disney on the map. I'm saying he put the Pirates of the Caribbean, or the Caribbean, whatever it is, on the map. You know what I'm saying. He put it on the map. I don't care if they try to get someone to replace him. Who is Captain Jack Sparrow? Johnny Depp. And everybody knows that if I say that word, that's the actor you're going to relate it to. I don't know if they're going to try to get someone else in here and try to be him. It won't be the same and it will flop. It will flop. Because people won't go and see it because they know who the true captain is. It's that simple. It's that simple. So, he's the man. And she ruined that. How is this okay? How is it right that she sends a, t a tape to a television station to make him look horrible in the public's eye? Now, if the witnesses come on and they go on TV, well, that's not Johnny's fault. They did that on their own. And you know why they did it? Because the witnesses see this and it angers them that somebody is lying and is trying to get away with it and you're letting this happen. So maybe Judge White, if you're listening, and I severely doubt you are, what's fair is fair in love and war. I'm sure Waldman is not the only one who's guilty here. You should look into Amber Heard's attorneys and figure out how the evidence that they threw out there is okay to be put out there. Now, I didn't see anybody with social security numbers or medical records or anything like that. I never came across any of that stuff thus far, nor would I go looking for that, because that's not what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for the facts, the cold hard facts, what both sides are saying, and who is right and who is wrong from the conclusion I get from what is being put out there. That's what I'm trying to do on this channel. And from what I'm getting so far, it's her as the abuser, her as the liar, and this is what I got. If Amber Heard has this remarkable evidence and these witnesses, then where, where is it? Put it out there, Amber. Go for it. Go for it. What she put out there was an Un an edited TMZ video, when you see the unedited version, it's a different different spin to it, right? Because if you just saw the edited version, you would think, man, Johnny, what the hell, bro? But when you play the unedited version, you can see she clearly, clearly made this look like he was horrible, and that was her goal. The plane, right? The plane, you hear moaning and groaning. And you know, for someone who got her ass handed to her, and I forget who someone said this to me tonight in the comment section I was reading during the live stream, they wrote in the comment section, he had rings on, right? Even Sia is talking about his rings, his jewelry. Imagine him with rings on hitting you in the face, slapping you in the face. Someone also said that bruises... They turn different colors before they go away. It's right. They turn black and blue and yellow and purple or whatever before they finally go away. They don't just hear one day, gone the next. Like her neighbor said, who went on television, their attorney, she said, that's, that's not how it works. You can't be hurt one day severely in your face and the next day you're clean like nothing happened. That's not how it works here. I would hope that the judge is smarter than this. 
that people that I can pay to judge a salary of 200 and some odd thousand dollars a year can actually see through the smoke in the mirrors, can actually see here what's been going on, to actually see that a man's career is in jeopardy, that a man's livelihood is in jeopardy because of greed and because of selfishness. Someone who truly loved her, protected her, was there for her. We see it. I can only hope that the judge sees the same thing. So woman is out. True is in. You know, again, here what it looks like, what they're trying to make it look like is that, well, Johnny, Johnny's team put out all the evidence and therefore this is there for now. They fought fire with fire and you know what? I don't blame them because that's the game. You play the game. You want to play dirty, I play dirty back. You want to hit me first, I hit you back. That's the game. That's just how I feel. But how do you feel about all this? You let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can catch my next Johnny Depp video. I appreciate all your support. You guys are fantastic. And I hope to see you soon again on Entertainment and Star Wars. We got a lot of videos. A lot coming up. Going to have a lot of guests. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So stick around. Thank you so much. Be well and be safe. You know, I care about you all. I, I will write to you as much as I can in the comment section. And again, for those who have been through it, I'm truly sorry because I know how it feels. Till next time, take care.